Some people believe food comes from the supermarket. I'm not one of them. For your first time today? I am, yes. I'm very excited. Um, it's one thing just to always eat Biltong, but it's another thing to go and get where it came from. Right. So cool. you don't get Biltong in a butchery. See if we can get a place for Pune. Yes. It's going to be a bit easier shot at the end of the day. Lovely. Not a hard to be a star. Absolutely. You're lucky you didn't shoot one. You've been in for the Karoo oyster. <laughs> Good shot. Good shot, Ian. Ian, yes. I was did not like it. That was awesome. Yeah. That was awesome. My first hunt for the year in the middle of the summer. <laughs> If you'd like to win one of these Catch Cook Sublimated t-shirts valued at 500 Rand, please like and subscribe to our channel and comment how you're enjoying the content down below. It's a springbok leg. Um, Not springbok, bless back. I'm going to do braised onions with sugar, a little bit of brandy, then I'm going to put on the springbok, paprika, water, make a goulash, and then I'm going to finish it with potatoes and carrots. Bless back. Bless back, sorry. Limit for time here. A pork for me is usually five, six hours. So what I've done here is I've got my pork in with the sauce, red wine, my secret ingredient, which is Coca Cola, all my spices, which is here, turnips. It's going to be basically a hearty English 
Wait to stew. Coffee, coffee, Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, my two ingredients. Uh, tomato, uh, tomatoes, fish tomatoes, bit of water, um, and basically garlic. So I think it's garlic, a uh, bit of rosemary, a bit of paprika, coffee, and that's it. Yeah, that. Chickpeas, potatoes, great weather chicken. Hit it. So Mark, we're here at uh, Hard to Bear's Crawl, um, and we're going to make some venison rub. I believe so, yes. So I'm going to make you what I learned in Montana. Yes. I did a lot of hunting out there, uh, now in South Africa, because I bring this to you guys. Basically, it's everything you could find in the cupboard, and literally train to pan with brandy and Jack Daniels. Okay. What do you call I've, it? That's what it's special called the cowboy rub. Cowboy rub. But I've refined it to what people can make it at home. So guys, the most important thing is to make it your paste. Yes. So I usually Jack Daniels. What you want to use local brandy, quick plug of that, which is about a quarter of a cup. Yeah. I'm going to use a teaspoon of Worcester sauce. Yeah. Okay. Fresh oregano. Four or five shakes, doesn't matter. Just a bit of spiciness. I'm going to put some salt. Don't be scared of this. I'll make a small batch for now, we'll see how it goes. The key ingredient to this. One is it's cafe coffee. Okay. Cowboys love the coffee. Okay. Then paprika. So this is smoked paprika. This is Hungarian smoked paprika. Right. Okay. Ginger. Ginger is very important. It gives a bit of a kind of tang to it. It doesn't give you the Asian taste. It um, gives like a freshness, I believe. Garlic powder. Fresh garlic is probably better. Roasted garlic is much better. But this is just good. Everyone's got this in their house, guys. Everyone has this. Okay. Olive oil. Okay. Once that's all done, we've got all that together, guys. So let's move out the way. Stubs in America. Okay, cool. Stubs comes from Louisiana. And it's $4.99 on Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> it's quite strong. Okay, so what I do now? Right, Wash this and. Exactly. Okay. Got the rubs. The cowboy rub. It's now marinated, it's infused, as you can see. So I'm gonna basically take this now, I'm gonna just rub this on the meat. I'm literally gonna rub it in. So I'm gonna pour it on. I'm gonna massage it into the meat. You can let it marinate in the yep. fridge or in the... No, out, out there. Okay. Just like that, huh? I'm going to cover it with the cloth to the flies. What are we going to happen now? I'm going to take the liver. I will clean the liver properly. And the kidneys and everything. We're going to cut it in small blocks. Plenty of garlic on it. This is the whole intestine, huh? That's the whole intestine, yes. It's been nicely washed. Nicely washed and clean.
Yeah. This is just a grid, nice and warm. We're just gonna wrap it off and we're gonna put the off on the camera. Got my cold, very hot cold. Mine is lovely. Ooh. How's the meat? It's awesome. Meat is awesome, huh? I think so too. And the potatoes, we're going to hear it now. Oh. Yeah. Joy, bon appetit. Thanks for cooking. Thanks for cooking, Marky Mark. Mark.